Good morning, children. Yesterday we saw that how Princess Jahanra disguised as a panna and the, how they went to Hanuman Mandir. Each and everything we discussed yesterday. Now, what will happen when they meet to the Mandir? So, after taking the blessing from Hanuman, now they are going out of the mandir. The two stroll through bazaar. Panna isn't, is not interested in all the glittering jewelry and silk. Panna, she not red. She is not interested to see the glittering jewelry and silk. Instead, she sits and listens to a man singing on the masjid steps and then stands giggling at a funny magician. Now, which are the things are making to take a delight means. So, first of all, what she saw when she came out of the kila means she saw a dancing bear. And afterwards, she saw a camel. And now, she watched the uh, of the in the high of the sky and now she is listening a singing man where he is singing means on the steps of the masjid now he she heard the giggling at a funny magician now she is taking a funny towards to the funny magician she buys the roasted chana and sweet potatoes from a street vendor now only she purchased to eat a chana and the sweet potatoes sharing everything with the magbul now she is giving to magbul also she stands wide-eyed looking up at the sky now she is watching towards to the sky what she saw in the sky panna oh look a kite isn't it lovely now she it is a one day to her it's a surprising things to her so up to here she did not see all these things now it's a new things for princess jahanara what she is giving a reaction after seeing this a kite so oh look a kite isn't it lovely and camels go over there and after seeing this kite in the high of the sky now she is watching the camel it's a, such fun and so beautiful so all it is giving a delight to princess jahannara makbul naturally agra is a great city so whatever the reactions seeing makbul what he said yes of course naturally agra is the great city do you know that our emperor is planning many buildings inside the fort, all marble and inlay work. You know, the one thing our emperor planned to make a new buildings in the fort with the marble and inlay work. Panna said, yes, yes, I know, I have heard. Makbul, you won't understand. You are just a stupid girl after all. So what he said, how can you know? You are the maid. Yes, you are after all a stupid girl. Panna laughs delighted at the insult. Now she did not say anything to Makbul. Why? Because Makbul don't know she is only the princess Jahannara. Suddenly soldiers enter with their swords. So now some soldiers in their what, what they are doing. The army commander is there too, yelling at everyone. Now, if with the soldiers, commander is also entered the fort. Makbul whispers to someone. Now he is asking someone with a silent sound. What's the matter? Soldier whispers back. He is also giving a slowly voice. 
princess jahanara is missing he said princess is missing they think she has been kidnapped now he said yes princess jahanara is missing from kila someone kidnapped her panna allah i am in trouble now she is she is giving allah i, I am in trouble she walks up to the commander and lifts her veil stop i am back now she reveals her reveals the truth what she is reveals means i am only the panna she removes her veil her dupatta from the face and stop i am back i am here only the commander and soldiers boarded flee to panna all are going in front of panna commander your highness where have you been now the commander asking to panna princess where you have been makbul your highness he puts a hand to his head as if to toss, stop it from reeling are you are you are you princess jahanara your highness for a two minutes he was also very surprised why because now he don't know she is only the princess so how he is asking are you are you are you only the princess jahanara your highness jahanara i went to see the city i was quite safe with makbul bhai now jahanara said yes i am safe with makbul bhai commander arrest him he abducted the princess abducted means a kidnap abducted means a kidnap so you abducted the princess two hefty soldiers grip makbul's arms now they are catching makbul's jahanara stop let him go immediately now she is giving a order to the soldiers leave makbul bhai commander but your highness jahanara said no bites do as i say so don't say anything to me i know everything so he is leave makbul bhai you will not trouble him you should not give any trouble to makbul bhai he did not know i am jahanara and it was i who requested him to take me to the city yes i am only willingly i went with makbul bhai to see the city to makbul softly now she is she is saying to makbul go back to your garden makbul bhai and thank you now she is giving a thanks to makbul because of you i have had one of the most enjoyable days of my life now she is saying i'm very thankful to you why because you are the wonderful guy so i'm very safe with you makbul exits dazed as the others look on now he went away from the spot now he all are seeing to makbul now scene 3 the emperor's garden makbul is sitting in one corner despondently now he is sitting with a unhappy mood he does not even care to look at his favorite rose plants now he is not take caring of the roses why because he is in a surprise suddenly there is a tinkling of anklets now someone came in front of him with the sound of a tinkling anklets makbul look up and scrambles to his feet it is the princess and the maid dilruba who are there means they are those are the princess jahanara and the maid dilruba came in front of makbul jahanara what's the matter makbul bhai you are crying you are not happy to see me so now she is asking what happened to makbul bhai why you don't want to see me makbul huzur sahiba how can i not be happy i'm just be mourning my fate so he is so i'm very happy to see you but i just be mourning my fate dilruba why makbul bhai 
what has fate done to upset you so much so what happened to your fate why you are so unhappy makbul i have to leave this place soon so now the prince said to me to leave this place soon jahannara what but why you love this place yes you are, you are this is your lovest place to you so why should why you will why you are living this place and what will these roses do without you so this is only your family this garden only yours everything so why to leave this place and after years what will happen to all these roses makbul breaks down dilruba makbul bhai please tell us what happened now dilruba is also asking the maid is also asking what happened makbul bhai say correctly makbul the commander wants me to leave for sikandar immediately now i should leave the agra and i should move for sikandara i have been punished because of yesterday's incident and sent off to work at akbar badshah's tomb at sikandar now i should leave this place and i should move to the sikandra who will look after my roses now he is worrying about the roses only so who will look after my roses when i will leave this place silence jahannara don't worry i will arrange something so now he is giving a and he she is convincing to makbul don't worry i will arrange something aren't you going to give me a parting gift now you are you you will not give a party to me how what you will give the gift makbul looks at her devastated certainly hujur sahiba he goes to the plant searches for a rose and picks it now you will not give to me something so what you will give gift to me now after listening this one suddenly he went in the garden and now he is searching a good rose for her this is my last gift to you hujur sahiba now he is presenting a rose to princess jahannara jahannara it's beautiful now after taking after receiving the rose from makbul now she said it's beautiful dilruba yes even more beautiful than subaha so this is more beautiful than the subaha rose makbul smiles for the first time jahannara as a reward i am giving you dilruba shall i go fetch one of those gold chains you had set aside for gifts jahannara no makbul bhai doesn't need gold shall i give something to him a gold no jahannara what she said no no makbul don't want the gold and silver makbul's face falls <coughs> he deserves something for better far better so he he want more than to that gold and silver the rose gardens of the kila to tend for the rest of his life so what i am giving a gift to makbul means i am presenting you a gardens of the kila makbul huzur jahannara and if that commander troubles you again tell him to come to meet me first now she is she is giving a assure to him yes in next time the soldiers or the commander they will trouble to you say them to come and meet to me makbul a thousand thanks husur sahiba now he is very grateful to the princess jahannara i will create the best roses in the kingdom for you so after this one i will make many more roses i will plant many more rose trees in the kingdom jahannara yes but before that makbul bhai i have a request for you so i want to request something to you makbul anything so what you want to hujur sahiba ask for me 
Jahannara. Next time you go to the mandir, send me the prasad. Now, what is the request? So, whenever you go to Hanuman Mandir, please bring me prasad from there. It was delicious. So, it is a very delicious one. Makbul and Dilruba loves. By the way, what is the name of this rose? Now, once again, she is asking the questions to Makbul. Now, you, you gave a, you presented me a rose, beautiful rose. So, what you will name for the rose? Makbul, Shahzadi Zahannara. So, he gave a name, Shahzadi Zahannara, for the last rose gifted by Makbul. So, this is a wonderful story. This is a wonderful drama by the writer. It is the Mughal Emperor's true story. So, these are the characters in the rose for the princess. Now, we will see the glossary of this lesson. So now, Gul Badal. Gul Badal. Gul Badal means what, children? Beautiful and delicate like a flower. Beautiful and delicate. Beautiful and delicate. Next, Badal. Badal. Badal means cloud. Badal means cloud. Dilruba. Dilruba. One who, one who the heart likes. The one who the heart likes. That is the heart touching. That is the dil ruba. Dil ruba. The heart touching. Subaha. Subaha means before the sunrise time. That is the dawn. Before the sunrise. Dawn. Won't tell a soul. Now, Gulbadan, beautiful and delicate like a flower. Badal, cloud. Dilruba, one whom the heart likes. That is the heart touch. Subaha. Before the sun rises. That is the dawn. Next. Won't tell a soul. Won't tell a soul. Won't tell a soul means won't tell anyone. Will not say anyone. Won't tell. Anyone. Won't tell anyone. Brand of humor. Brand of humor. Brand of humor means sense of Fun. Mm 
Sense of fun. Actor. Actor. Actor means perfume. Actor, perfume. Prasad. Prasad. Sweets and fruits. Sweets and fruits offered in worship. Offered in worship. Worship to God. What we are offering to the God, that is the prasad. And afterwards they will give to people. They will give to devotees. Won't tell a soul. Won't tell anyone. Brand of humor. Sense of fun. Sense of fun. Brand of humor. Sense of fun. Actor. Perfume. Actor. Perfume. Prasad. Sweets and fruits offered in worship to God. After they will give to devotees. That is, fruits and the sweets offered in worship to God. In lay work. In lay work. In lay work. In lay work. Carved designs of stone. Carved designs. Carved designs of stone. So here it is. Carved designs of stone set into the surface of another stone. The Taj Mahal has Beautiful inlay work. So, inlay work means carved designs of stone. Reeling. Reeling, spinning. Reeling, spinning. Next, abducted. And abducted, kidnapped. Sadly, despondently, sadly, in lay work, carved designs of a stone, really spinning. Abducted, kidnapped, despondently, sadly.
scrambles of his feet scrambles scrambles of his feet stand up hurriedly stand up hurriedly stand up hurriedly scrambles of his feet stand up hurriedly be morning be morning feeling very sorry feeling very sorry feeling very sorry devastated 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 should come here devastated diva stated diva stated shattered are shattered shattered diva stated shattered hujur sahiba Hujur Sadiba respected madam so scrambles of his feet stand up hurriedly be moaning feeling very sorry feeling very sorry devastated devastated shattered devastated shattered huzur sahiba huzur sahiba respected madam now answer the following here one sentence of answer after two three sentences answer is also there and use the following phrases into sentences of your of your own match the words with the meanings now we will see the question answer children answer the following in one word sentence who was the rose a gift for so to whom he is giving the rose for gift the rose was gift for princess jahannara the rose a gift for princess jahannara why does the princess gift silk to makbul why she gifted a jack why does the princess gift silk to makbul so because jahannara was very pleased with the makbul's roses so she gifted a chocolate to makbul what is the reward makbul receives from the princess uh, for taking her out so what he got after taking her out so makbul 
receives a reward from the princess a rose garden of the kila a rose garden of the kila for his lifetime he got the award now what is the request that the princess makes to makbul so what the princess request to makbul the princess requested to makbul that whenever he goes to hanuman mandir he bring a prasada to her answer the following in two three sentences each dilruba tells makbul that she belongs to his family why does she say that so dilruba she said i am the one of your family because makbul gave a each name to the roses so one name is also a dilruba subaha ghata and badal subaha dilruba gulbadan so he gave a name to each roses one of the rose is also named for a maid dilruba so she said she also belongs to his family what is the condition makbul's lay downs before he agrees to take panna out with him what is the condition makbul's lays down before he agrees to take panna out with him that she should not ask anything in the bazaar he not had a money to spend what explanation does panna give to explain her statement but then the roads were emptied for us what is the actual reason why she said this one means panna is only the princess so whenever the princess went outside all the bazaars are emptied so she said but then sir the roads are emptied for us what punishment does the commander give makbul and why so the commander gave makbul he should leave the agra and to go for sikandar why he gave this punishment because they thought he abducted the princess jahannara because of you i have had one of the most enjoyable days of my life right in your own words why the princess tells makbul so why she said this this statement before before of you i have had one of the most enjoyable days of my life why because it is a free to her to see and watch everything around to her so she saw a dancing bear she saw a kite in the high of the sky and she listens a singing man on the steps of the masjid and she saw a camel on the road and she took a delicious prasada in the mandir so all these moments she got by the makbul so she said this is the wonderful moment one of the moment in her life describes makbul devotions to tending the garden how he tended the garden so he tended with very caring and loving so he gave each name as a poet gives he gave each roses a name gulbadan badal dilruba and subaha so he gave each rose and he picked up the roses with them carefully and very gently so he had this type of a devotion towards to the attending the garden now we will see the match the following tended based scrambles devastated and abducted you should match with the words a meaning for the words children so this is the lesson about arose for the 
princess. Now, next poem is An August Midnight. In the August Midnight, we saw the poet was sitting alone. Now, a rose for the princess is a revision over. Now, we will see the poem An August Midnight. Only the summary of the poem words. In his room, alone, in the midnight, in the midnight of the month August, of the month August. Some moments is going on. Some moments. Some moments was going on. Which are the moments are there in this poem means? The lamp is shading. The lamp is shading on the table. Curtain is moving gently by the breeze. By the breeze. The breeze means a silent wind. A silent wind. Suddenly, by the breeze and clock is beating up 
on the wall. The class is waiting on the wall. Suddenly, so see here, children. A simple way to understand the poem. The poet was sitting alone in his room. Alone in his room. Alone in his room. In the midnight of the month of August, far away from him, some moments was going on. The lamp is shading, curtain is moving gently by the breeze, and the clock is beating on the wall. Clock is beating on the wall. Suddenly, suddenly, give a full stop. Suddenly, four guests, four guests entered his room. Four guests entered. Entered his room. Suddenly, four guests entered his room. Who are they? Means they are the insects. They were the insects. They were the insects. Now, which are the activity they will do? Means. Which are the activities? How they are the insects means they are they are long legs they are long legs A moth, a moth means a summer insect. A moth, a Dumbledore, Dumbledore, Dumbledore. What they are making means they are making a they are making a eagle stand. How they are means they are long legs, a moth, Dumbledore, and a winged winged. They have a wings, horns. Arms and a spine. Spine means they have the backbone. How they are means they are the long legs. A moth. Moth means a summer insect. Dumbledore winged. They have the wings and the horns and they have the backbone. How they will make activities we will see tomorrow, children. So this is a poem about an August midnight.